Welcome to the world of Jones Knows. Today I'm going to show you how we do the top step and connect our stairs to the hallway. Today on Jones Knows. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor, and as usual, help me in the videos are my sons, actually. It's just one of my sons, it's just Hunter today, and we are on the final phase of this job. We're doing the top stair nose or the top step. We have uh, solid treads in the whole staircase here, and I'm gonna cut down a solid tread for the top and connect it to our vinyl floor, and our goal is to go seamless, and we don't wanna have any height difference, nothing overlapping. We want it to be smooth, we want it to be perfect. And that's what we're gonna do. So without any further ado, let's let's hit it. So we got ourselves a stair tread. I've already cut it down and it's about five inches right now. And as you see, we've kept the round part on the front because we have round noses on our staircase. It's not one of my square front staircases or my custom uh, four or five inch wide steps. This is just a standard tread. And I'm going to show you how I cut it down so it can connect to our vinyl floor. I've set my fence at a quarter of an inch space between the fence and the blade. And now we're going to run it through. Here's what we got. We cut it, ripped it this way, and then we cut it this way. And that's what we got left. That's our profile, and that's what we're going to put to the hallway. perfectly flush. We're doing that right now. Oh, that's nice. And it's going to be stained. Isn't that nice? I cut it here with my track saw so it's a perfectly straight line. Wow. Isn't that going to be sharp? It looks nice. We're just going to create a bed of liquid nails and shims, place it in there and let it set overnight. Then we'll be able to fill it and stain it. We custom made the nosing. We cut the floor back with our Festool track saw. And now we are going to finish it or stain, oil it, whatever you want to call it, with our Lobo Impact Oil. And then we will be all set. Perfectly flush. Look at that. You can't get any better than that. Alright, and here is our top step in all its glory. It's completed. This is our impact oil on it. It is filled. It is flush. It is perfect. Who is to say you can't put wood to vinyl and make it flush and perfect? Wow, that is simple and to the point and it's foolproof. If you like our, our work and you want to really help support our channel, we have a PayPal link below. We're trying to get some better camera equipment. Um, or maybe you just want to buy the guys lunch. They eat a lot. They would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. So the link is below. Be sure to also share, like, pass this video on to others. That helps us more than anything else you can do. It really helps our channel grow. That makes a huge, huge difference. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of our other content, though. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors, plus my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl, and even put them head to head. I run them over, I dunk them, I submerge them, I do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite floor and mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.